<laughs> Hello, everybody. The girls in the warehouse said, get real loud right when I go live. It's fine. Sorry, we're in the warehouse. If you're, welcome to the chaos here. Um, two things real quick. Do you guys know that these are up on the website? This is the lav lav Lavender Chevron Instant Transfer Full Sheet. We're going to use this today because it's beautiful and it's going to look banging. I said it. It's going to look really <laughs> aged myself there. It's going to look really good with today's live mix. Also, did you guys know that this was on the website? Did, did you know? Because I don't think you guys know that this is up on the website. Type in the word cheetah instant transfer. Full sheet. Full sheet instant transfer cheetah. This is up on the website. Now, I don't have this planned for today. I didn't know this was currently in stock. I assumed it had sold out because you guys, this is never, this always sells out. So I'm like, they must not know it's there. Because I was going through the our little filing thing that we have all these in looking for one to go with today's live mix. And I saw this and I was like, is this up on the website? And Melissa checked and she's like, yeah. I was like, how do they not know? This is the one that I used for this. This is my rhinestone cup base. You don't have to rhinestone it. I'm just saying, that's what I did. I used it as my pattern for all my rhinestones. This is, love this cup. That's actually a Hydrosport cup. Hello, everybody. You used yours? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just like, do you know that these are up there? <laughs> um, all right. So today is Live Mix Day. If you've never joined us for a Live Mix, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today is Live Mix Day. The Live Mix is number 136. It is going to be one of our Kaleidoscope glitters. Now, this one may make it into one of our regular stock. It is currently going to just be a, um, uh, a, a Live Mix, but uh, someday... Someday it may come back. When I say someday, it may be like six months, maybe next year. I don't know. It might never come back. But this is one that I will probably always kind of keep my eye on and love. And so someday it may return. Um, but this is Live Mix number 136. If you've not seen any of these kaleidoscope glitters, um, it's really hard to get the kaleidoscopes to show on camera. But when I say that, it literally, instead of having like a glitter flash or like... Um, for the holographics with the holographic flash. Y'all know what those mean. The kaleidoscope literally looks like you're looking through a kaleidoscope at this piece of glitter. That's the shine that comes off of it. Almost like a hologram or it's just very, very, very unique and cool. Um, it is a chunky glitter. This is a big chunky glitter. Like Penelope. Uh, Penelope is, we call Penelope one of our velvet glitters or sateen or satin glitters. Um, it's, it is different. Um, it is from our same order that we put in for the very unusual glitters, like we to very unique, crazy thoughts and crazy idea glitters. Uh, but Penelope is a little bit different, where we would call it more like the satin finish or the. Um, but she's got a very like a really pretty sheen on her. But it is different. This is kaleidoscope. So if you've got Shannon or Gwyneth or Constance. Those are kaleidoscopes. So this one is kind of like a birthday party sprinkle surprise. It makes me think of that. Um, it's going to be, it is, it is one glitter color, but the glitter flashes all different pretty colors, pinks, blues, purples, a little yellow, a little orangey, but it's, it's not holographic. It's kaleidoscopy. So you're going to see it. There's only three cuts to this one, fine, dad bod, and chunky. The fine is meant to kind of fill in the cracks between the big kaleidoscope, big chunky pieces. Um, hi, Summer. Will you be getting any snow globe tumblers anytime soon? Um, uh, not for a while. We don't have anything on the docket for a couple months. But that's not to say we won't, but not anytime soon. No, it's not on the schedule. Dumb question. Where would you use kaleidoscope glitter in or on? I'm going to be putting it on a tumbler today. So we're, I'm going to be showing you guys hang method. So if you've never seen chunky glitter applied with hang method before, you've never seen hang method, we're going to be doing it on two different tumblers and we're going to be working with this glitter. We're going to be moving over to the studio. I've got my mask and my, my epoxy and everything ready to go. We are going to work with epoxy today. We're diving in. I got, I've been itching to get my fingers in the back into epoxy. So um, I am on a time clock with these 
so we're going to be scooting through. Um, but we have, I'm going to be wrapping this on a tumbler and then ombre glitter with this. Okay. So this is the lavender chevron and this is the cheetah print. I, these are not new launch today. I'm just, just like, I don't know that they know these on their website because they're still in stock. And this one, this, I don't know how it's still in stock. So I just wanted to point that out. The cheetah print full sheet instant transfer cheetah print is still in stock. Okay, new today, this mold, which looks like nothing, but it's little sneakers. Freaking cute are those. They're little sneakers. Okay, those would make really cute keychains for runners or athletes. Um, this beautiful fish. It's a it's like a beta fish or like a fancy goldfish or koi fish. Kind of makes me think of a beta fish though. Okay, so that's up there. And the balloon, the balloon dog animals. There's two of them that they're both this one and this one are pooping little balloon poops. And then you got this cute little guy, and then the standard. And these are um also, if you don't want the little poop in there, just take a little piece of silly putty and put it in the poop. And then you just got a cute little dog. Okay, Rafa is a pretty yellow. Yes, Rafa is a bright yellow, bright, bright yellow, like tennis ball yellow. Um, so the balloon animal keychains are up on the website. Okay. The tennis shoes and the fish. Hold on now. Let me show you the instant transfers that are up there. These are, you guys asked for sarcastic and snarky decals. So this is that day. Y'all like the snarky and sarcastic. There's some of them not, but... I'm not going to read them all because they have bad words in them. The bottom says, the desire to become a better beep. Okay. I'm holding it up so you can read it. I'm not going to say it out loud in case anyone's kids are watching. Nah, it's way too peopley out there. This would look really cute with the ew people with the cats. Ew people. And that's way too people out there. Okay. Expensive, difficult, and talks back. <laughs> now, I'm cheap and very frugal, but I'm also very expensive because I think I like things like really expensive rocks. I was like, could you like something other than just rocks that are really expensive? I'm sorry. I don't even wear expensive rock jewelry. I just like rocks. And I'm not like a crystal like healing person. I just like rocks and gems and stones. So that's how I'm expensive. And animals. Um, expensive, difficult, and talks back. The supply of curse words is inf ins insufficient to meet my demands. The supply of curse words is insufficient to meet my demands. This is a funny one. Be kind. I'm just not reading that one. Do you have to read it? Okay. And then um, let me check my give a beep -a meter Nope, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to hold it up so you guys can read it. Um, Nelly, there was only 30. They were literally sold in like two minutes. So very, very few people got them. But yeah, there was only 30 of the mint rhinestones. All right. Those are the newbies up on the website. Now let's do the live mix. Okay, so here we go. Live mix today is a kaleidoscope glitter. Um, so those are the new items on the website. And then I'm going to be scootling over to the office. And we're going to be wrapping this one. Um, what's the race? Yeah, it's a very short race. Uh, we are going to mix, so let's go. We have a very, I want to craft today. We're going to get some tumblers going today. Um, and uh, let's, we'll chat, but I want to get this glitter going. Okay. Um, okay, so this is, like I said, this is live mix. If you've never joined us for a live mix before, every Wednesday we, I come in the warehouse and we mix a customized glitter, um, a custom creation. This is a kaleidoscope glitter. If you have not seen them, hold on. Yeah. Sorry. 
the kaleidoscope glitter literally flashes a holographic -y, it looks like you're each piece of glitter looks like you're looking at it through a kaleidoscope that's like the shimmer that's on it 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 very much so resembles what my brain like if there was a real magical mermaid this is what her tail would be made out of today's mix is only it's one color but three cuts because it's one color because within this one color is a lot of colors okay so i call this like the birthday party kaleidoscope mix so like shannon was the blue green mix we've got gwyneth and constance which were the pink and the blue um shimmery ones now this one is got pink blue purple yellow uh, which we call gold kind of why is this so hard to open sorry pink blue yellow gold it's got all the like flashes in it and so it kind of looks like glitter birthday sprinkles okay here we go it's super pretty sorry we're gonna get you guys up bring you guys right down in the action get you close all right so when we do this we always start with the chunky this chunky is the most important because this is what's gonna really, the big, big pieces is where you're gonna really see that kaleidoscope effect on each one. The smaller the cuts, the less you likely you are to see it because it is such a unique effect. Um, but that's why we want it in this big, big chunk so that when you move it around, you can see the little like wobbly kaleidoscope effect that it has almost look like flames on side of each one but do you guys see how there's so many colors in here you're getting like a gold you're getting an orange you're getting a pink a blue a purple they're all very soft pastel colors but they're very very vibrant in scent they're they're pastel but they're like very you can see each color okay you see a lot of purple a lot of pink a lot of blue a little gold Okay, but this is why we like the chunks because you can see that kaleidoscope effect. I'm not sure if you guys are picking it up on camera or not. I can't see what you guys can see right now because you guys are facing down. All right, so this is the most important part of this mix. And then we're going to put some dad bod in there to fill in the gaps. Okay, this is the same color, just a smaller cut. This still has a high flash to it. Sorry, guys, these bags are harder to open than they normally are. All right, so this is a dad bod cut. You still get that kaleidoscope effect on here. You still get that shimmery, sh the wobbly shimmers, but it's not as visible as you see on the, the, the little guy, but you can see it still with, when it's burnished down and flat. You still can see it in these dad bods. Okay. Now you do the the fine that we're gonna add kind of loses, you can't really see the wobbly kaleidoscopeness to it, but it's important because this will fill in the gaps. So, like you can when you go to apply this on something, you're gonna get good coverage because this will fill in the gaps. Ooh, the bright purple popping out of this is super pretty. Okay, so we are actually going to work with epoxy today. We're going to be going over and doing the hang method. So we're going to be doing epoxy today. We're going to be over doing the hang method because if you have not um, delved into chunky glitters because it overwhelms you or intimidates you um, on your epoxy with your tumblers, um, I'm going to show you guys the easy, awesome. And I can't decide. Oh my God. I think I like this one the best. Yeah, I'll let him pick. But like, I like Zelia's name in this one. She's my girly one, so she's probably gonna pick that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so she, so um, I apologize, guys. I had Morgan doing a little project for me. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a little bit. But we're gonna be doing hang methods. We're gonna be, because the best and easiest way to dive into doing chunky glitter on your tumblers is by doing the hang method. So if you've never seen it um, done, I'm gonna be doing it over there um, and showing you guys how to, um, see how sparkly it still is it's still super high flash and sparkly razzle dazzly here we go because like i said this one is going to be only the three cuts
all in the same color to create this unique glitter. Oh, it's really cool. This is live mix number 136. This is kind of uh, um, along the same lines as Constance and Gwen, Gwyneth and Shannon. But the, oh, look at this right here, where it's all combined on my hand and nice and flat. Constance, Gwyneth and Shannon. But this is a, this color is, a, 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 it's like a birthday, birthday spr cake sprinkles is what it makes me think of like a confetti color glitter because it's got all the glitter colors in it. it's got all colors in a bunch of different color flashes in it so this week it's not like tons of glitter colors mixed together to make this one amazing glitter it's literally just customized glitter in multiple cuts all in the one to make this new fun glitter oh, I love love okay so i made i got a big bowl for myself because i knew i was going to love this one Okay, so we're going to scoop. And then we're going to go. All right, so we're going to head over because we're going to craft. We're going to be working with epoxy today. I want to make sure we have enough time. Oops. Hello. Sorry, I put someone's comment up on the... Oh. Look at... Look at those ring lights. Oh, hello. <laughs> I look like I'm mid-30s again. <laughs> I was going to say 20, but then that was really pushing it. That was really pushing it. So let's have me, we'll say mid thirties. I look mid thirties. I like these ring lights. I should stand up more often. All right. One last big chug of water. Let's head over there. Okay. We haven't done this tour in a minute. So I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry this bucket. Hold on. And I gotta carry this bowl. Sorry, I gotta go carry all the things. So I don't really have an extra free hand. This is our warehouse. Doodly doo. Hello. Okay, there's all of our shelves, and there's our big glitter wall. Okay. That glitter down. I will tell you what, you guys. The 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 tumbler that we made last week, and then the tumble. Oh, pretty butterflies! Oh, there's so many butterflies out here. There was like five butterflies right by the door. Um, two tumblers that I made with the live mix from 134. I ruined them both today. It wasn't supposed to rain today. It was cloudy, but it, there was no there was no chance for rain or no call for rain today. So I brought them outside, put them down, spray painted them with clear glossy spray paint. Went inside the warehouse, and three minutes later, it started raining. Oh, so. They're not ruined per se. I can cover, so I came running out and I grabbed them, but they were still wet. So I've got finger, like little fingerprints all over the glitter and stuff. And some of the glitter fell off. But I can cover that with some like instant transfers. But I was so bummed. I got my car washed yesterday even. And I was like, do you want a car wash? I was like, no. I said, let's check the weather because I don't want to get a car wash and it's supposed to rain. So we checked, no rain. And then got a car wash and then rain today. Anywho, story time by summer. All right, here we are. Okay, is the person on that was yesterday that was asking about the um, multicolored cheetah print? I don't remember the name of the person who was looking for the multicolored cheetah print. This is, this is it. It's coming back in stock, but this is what it looked like. Oh, was that you, Belle? Do you want this one? I found this one in my studio, but I don't know who, what your real name is. I only see your, um, I only know you by your uh, brain fart. YouTube handle. Yes, okay, I'll put this aside for you, but I need your, I need your, what's your name? What is your name in our system? Oh, Christine Horner, okay. Girl, let me, let me write down on a piece of, here we go. Put it right here. All right, I will I will set this aside for you and I will give it to Alyssa and I'll put an order in for it. It'll go in it she'll know if that's what we call put it in order so it gets added to your next order. Okay. All right. So, if you missed yesterday, we have some new instant transfers 
full sheets, okay? And I want to show you guys things that you can do with your full sheets. Um, my kids lose their water bottles constantly. And so we cut out their names. I took the new, because I love this, the, the, I love the cactus flower one. So we did Vera, Zelia, Jet, and then we did Pinzone. But they all have, they'll all have their names. Zelia, Vera, and Jet Pinzone to put on their new water bottles. Berazilia Jet Pinzo. This is the one with the, this is the galaxy one. This is the cactus flower one. This is one of the galaxy sheets. Now you can obviously cram them together um, and use less space, but I told her just to do it quickly. She was, I was like, hey, I got a last minute project for you. She hates when I do that. Have I ever thought of making a mold with the branch and birds from your logo? No, I haven't actually. I don't know what I would do with the mold. I don't need that many birds and branches. <laughs> I already got that on like everything. I've got a tumbler over here. I got, I have two of these big light signs. We got logos everywhere. You can never cut, bring yourself to cut any of the pretty sheets. You got to use them though. That's what they're for. So we did this. This is another galaxy one. So we did two of the galaxies and then the one cactus flower. So they can pick which name they want, but we're going to, we're going to be just papering. By the way, they're, when you're like, oh, the A and the O's, they do. They just haven't been weeded. They need to be weeded. She just handed them to me really quick. So these are ideas of things. So like when you have tumblers and, you, and let's say you want to do a tumbler and you want to put your friend's name on it, but you don't want to have to do an epoxy tumbler because you're in a rush, just do their name in an instant transfer. Cut it out in an instant transfer. Apply it. Uh, this one, I don't know if she removed the, she did not remove the cover instant transfer. No. This has the instant transfer over the top. You just you peel it off. I'm going to peel these up by one at a time by hand and stick them down one at a time by hand. Once it's stuck down, then we'll take the transfer sheet off. I think Emily was saying that she's the one who peels it off, but I don't know how you peel it off because it's not going to stay it's not like a, it's, it's sticky. So I, however she does it, she's, she said she did it once. Oh, because you can't peel the front sheet off without lifting the whole thing up. We put the whole, I don't know what Emily's done. Emily does her own thing. She just stumbles and tumbles her way through how she would get the top off without it lift. Cause the back is not sticky to hold this down. The back is just a, backing so when you peel the when you peel that front up the, the whole sh the whole thing comes so i don't know how she's whatever she's doing i don't know how she's doing it because you can't just peel you can't just peel the front away you peel the front if you peel that carrier sheet up it brings it with it how did you peel the top sheet off It can come off, but it's usually by accident. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, I don't. I'm just. I didn't do it. I don't. Not me. I didn't do it. All right. So anyway, that was just an idea to show you guys of things to do. These my, my kids are gonna. I'm gonna give them a whole bunch of instant transfers and give them their names and let them decorate their own water bottles. They love crafting. Weirdly, my kids don't love animals. Like, they love animals, but they're not... Like, I was obsessed with animals when I was a kid. And they're just kind of like, meh, with all our animals. Yeah, ask Emily on her live. We do have all that stuff on our website. Yes. Yes. Hello again. Gotta go. Bye. Bye, Marie. All right, so let's do this. We are going to be doing today's... Oh, if you missed it today, new on the website the balloon mold dogs. These are uh, keychains, balloon animals. There's four different poses of the dog. Sneakers, this is a little mold that makes sneakers. We just made them real quick with UV resin. Okay, makes little sneakers. There is a really pretty like beta fish or fancy goldfish maybe. I think it's a beta fish. It looks like a baby to me. And then there's a bunch of sassy decals. So if you missed it, I'm not going to read them because some of them had naughty words on them. 
Well, you're cutting through the, you cut through the cut carrier sheet. So the cover sheet is cut through just as far as much as the others. You cut through it. This Okay, I'm not reading. It's got a bad word on it. Okay, this one says the supply of curse words is insufficient to meet by demands. Expensive, difficult, and talks back. This needs to go with, this kind of goes along lines with the friends don't let friends do stupid things alone. I don't know why that, in my brain, that goes together. Um, nah, way too many people, way too people out there. Nelly, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not going to read this one because it has a bad word. So you make the cut four times. Make what cut four times? You got them all? These are not for shirts. No, these have to go on a smooth, glossy, hard surface. So like a mirror or tumbler here. These are not t-shirts. These are not, um, these go on tumblers. So you, they're like stickers, but they're permanent bonds. So like this, we just stuck these on the surface of this tumbler and now this is good to go. It doesn't need to be epoxied. It can be epoxied over the top, which is what we will, we do sometimes, but it does not have to be. Yes, they're for, for they're, or you can put them on mirrors or like phones, the backs of phones and stuff. So Morgan uses a silhouette. She does not use a cricket. She, everything Morgan does is on the silhouette. She's not even, can, I asked her to do something with a cricket the other day and she goes, uh, her computer's not even connected. To the, our cricket is just, they're collecting dust. So if I asked her, she's going to give me the cricket, the, the setting on the silhouette. She likes the silhouette better. We're all different. I like the cricket better. Well, I've never used a silhouette, but I like the cricket. And I I I know the cricket. That's probably why I like the cricket. All right. So let's do this. Okay, so we are going to use today's live mix. If you have not seen today's live mix, this is today's live mix. I'm trying to show you the side of the bowl because that's where you're going to see that. This is the confetti kaleidoscope. It is the kaleidoscope glitter, and there is like pink, purple, blue. There's a little bit of like gold, a little, like a little hint of like a yellowy gold or a little orangey gold, but it's mainly pink, purple, and blue that I see, but it's kind of chameleon-like. But I'm trying to show you the side of the bowl where it's like flat because it's gorgeous. But we're going to work with... Yes, confetti glitter. And it is a um, it is a kaleidoscope glitter. So what that means um, is that it's super rad. Okay, this is today's live mix number 135. I'm going to jump in, put my mask on, and we're going to start mixing epoxy. Um, let me grab some gloves. Okay, so we're going to get our epoxy mixing. If, you have, if you're just getting into these glitter tumblers, um, they're super fun, and there's there's ways to be so incredibly creative. This, what I'm about to show you, is called the hang method. It's a method I developed many, many years ago for applying glitter to tumblers without having to buy additional products. We all already have the epoxy to put on our tumblers, so let's use it to apply our glitter. Um, not only that, but it is, one, it is, hands down, the best way to apply your chunky glitter to your tumblers. Um, you'll see when I do this, it's very easy to get the glitter onto that tumbler and lay down flat because this is a very chunky glitter and it can be intimidating um, if you're not sure what to do with it. Um, somebody asked the other day on a live, how many coats of clear glossy spray paint do I need to put on it to get it smooth? Um, and that the trick to that is that that's not how you get it smooth. That's how you get it sealed in so it doesn't um, flake off while you're um, applying your epoxy. It just kind of seals it down to your cup. But what gives you the smooth surface is applying your levels of epoxy, your layer, your different layers of epoxy. Um, the brand of epoxy that I am now endorsing is linked in our YouTube, sorry, our Facebook page. No. The brand of epoxy that we now endorse is on our Amazon shopping list, and it's also linked um, at the very top of our Facebook group. 
in the Featured tabs. So go to Featured, and you're going to see um, scroll across until you see the one about the epoxy, and the link for it is in there. It's also, if you go to our website and click on our Amazon shopping page, um, go to Epoxy Supplies, and you're going to click, you'll see it in there. Um, that's the epoxy that I'm going to be using today. Um, it's called Tumblr's Coating Epoxy, but it's easier, it's the most, it's hard to find it when you do it a search like that and make sure you get the right one is by following one of our links, okay? Otherwise, you might end up on, there's so many things that are called Tumblr coding epoxies or Tumblr epoxies. You might not land on this one. And I selected this one out of probably like 25 different brands that I tested. Um, this is the one that I was like, I love it. It works beautifully and it is a very, very good price for how much you get. Oh, new puppy going to the vet. All right, so um, I'm going to get out my silicone mat. Um, I'm also going to be using these um, paper towel racks from Dollar Tree. Sometimes these are sold out, um, but these are at Dollar Tree. It holds the paper towels. I use these as tumbler stands. Um, if you don't have a Dollar Tree around you or you're not a fan of these, some people just don't like them. I, they work fine, but if, you, if it's not your jam, some, they don't like how much space they take on the table. Um, you, we have tumbler stands on our website. Just a few left. There's like five or six left on the website if you want a tumbler stand that's a little bit lower profile. They are on the website. And they the R's um, can actually be collapsed and put away. So if you or if you have like here, like I said, they have a lot of they have a very wide footprint and they don't collapse and can't be put away very easily. The one we have on the website, the bottom collapses, it turns into a long skinny tube, and you can tuck it away and, and put it away when you're not using it. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and suit up. Whenever you work with epoxy, there's two things you need to make sure you do: wear nitride gloves and wear a chemical respirator. The respirator needs to be rated for chemicals. You have to read the description because there's a lot of respirators that look like this, but they're dust masks that have these cartridges, but they're not chemical rated. So you want to make sure you're wearing a chemical VOC respirator. Okay, that's very important. This is what keeps your lungs safe. Okay. And then the nitrile gloves, not vinyl gloves, not latex gloves. These are called nitrile gloves. Um, when you wear vinyl gloves or latex gloves, yes, it keeps the goop off your hands, but it doesn't have a tight enough surface um, to where it will block the vapors. If you wear vinyl gloves or latex gloves, the vapors of the epoxy can still go through the glove and affect your skin. Um, the, if you have an allergy or sensitivity and you wear vinyl or latex gloves, you're going to have an outbreak. You're going to have a, like chemical burns on your hands. The only gloves that protect you from those vapors are um, nitrile, N-I-T-R-I-L-E, nitrile gloves. Okay, they're the ones they use in hospitals. Okay, you can find them at craft stores, um, hardware stores. Um, you can find them online. We have them linked in our Amazon shopping page. Okay, so they're called nitrile gloves. You can reuse these. Wipe them down and reuse them. If you're the, during COVID, they got really expensive because they got hard to find because the hospitals were snapping them all up. Um, Nowadays, they're kind of back down to a regular price. But if you are like, I want to use them over and over, just put a cheap set of vinyl gloves over the top. And then when you've got to throw a glove away, throw the cheap vinyl glove away and save your nitrile gloves. As long as they're on your hand underneath the other gloves, they're protecting. So the vapor will go through the vinyl glove, but it won't go through this glove. And then you can throw them away. Sam's Club has a box of 200 for less than $10. Yes. All right. All right. So I'm. Uh, this is the mask that I love, Drager. We have this linked in our Facebook, uh, on our YouTube. I'm sorry, on our Amazon. Excuse the lead. We have it linked on our Amazon. Um, it, uh, it is a really good deal. It's worth the investment um, to get yourself a really good mask um, to save your lungs. All right. So we're going to start with this tumbler. No, sorry. We're going to start with this tumbler. It's a 20 ounce regular tumbler. Um, I did it in a pink base. I want to show you guys the difference between a pink and a white base. So we're going to start with the pink base and we're going to do the hang method. If you have not seen the hang method done, it is a method of using a very, very, very small amount, like a very small amount of epoxy to uh, mix your glitters. All right. 
Um, I'm going to mix uh, like grams. You need about three grams of epoxy. All right. It's for this tumbler. I probably only need about one and a half grams, but I'll do it with three so that you guys can see a little bit better. But you want to use the smallest amount of epoxy that you possibly can. The goal is to have just a super duper duper thin coat of epoxy. And one more drip. Perfect. All right. So I have about three grams of epoxy in here. This method was originally developed because I would always have like a couple drippings left over from mixing a big batch that goes on tumblers. I hate waste. And so I need I I was like, I don't want to waste this. What can I do with this? And I was like, I also didn't really like any of the options that are available out there, like spray adhesives or, or um, glues and stuff that you would mix to apply glitter, especially chunky glitter. It just doesn't hold that chunk and it wants to grip onto all the fine glitter that's in the mix and not really grab any of the chunky stuff. So I tested this out years and years ago and just used the little few little drips that were left in a cup. Um, in, in, from doing other tumblers and was figured out how to do this. And this is called, we call it the hang method. Um, other tumbler makers have taken this method now and named it something other ridiculous things, but um, it is the hang method. Um, that's how it was originally developed because you don't have to put this tumbler on a turner. You can literally hang it on a drying rack and let it cure that way. It doesn't have to take up one of your any, any space on your turners. So especially if you have limited turner space, this is also a really good method for you. Um, if you have like only one turner, but you have multiple cups going, this is a great way to glitter a bunch of cups and then have them ready to rock and roll. Okay. So you put those few grams on the bottom of your tumbler. When I mix, I always clean my stir stick right away. You don't want that stir stick staying goopy all around because you might accidentally stick your arm down on it. Okay, so you don't, that's, I always just clean my tools right out of the gate. Then I'm going to take this little bit and I'm going to push a little bit, just a smidge around each side of the tumbler. Okay. So we are working today with today's live mix. This is live mix number 136. It is a kaleidoscope glitter. There's a little bug or something right there. This is live mix number 136. Oh, there's something on my mat. That's what it was. Sorry, I'm cleaning my mat off a little. Okay, this is live mix number 136 that we're gonna put on here. It's a big chunky mix and it kind of looks like birthday confetti. Super pretty and it's got that kaleidoscope effect. Now that you've got a little bit around the edge around the whole outside, you're going to take firm pressure, one finger, and just repetitive motion, and you're going to push that glitter down that tumbler. And that's why you want to put a little bit of epoxy all the way around the butt. That way you don't have to try to bring epoxy from here all the way around and then down. You just got to take it straight down. Okay. You can see the epoxy as it sli slides down. If you can take your finger and go like this in one swoop and have epoxy all the way down, you have way too much epoxy. And when you hang that epoxy up, and when you hang that cup up to dry, all that epoxy is gonna slide down and drip down. It's gonna take your glitter with it and it's gonna look awful. So the whole goal of hang method is to use the smallest amount of epoxy you can to have the thinnest layer of epoxy on your tumbler, just a super ultra thin. Okay, so slide, slide, slide. Push firm pressure all the way down. Okay, we're good to go. It's easy to see where your epoxy is because it's real shiny. Okay, clean off. Now I can take my tumbler, put it on my drying rack, clean off my glove, 
This is why I try to only use one finger when I work, so it's a lot easier to clean up. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little scooper, get, get some epoxy, some glitter. Okay. Put down a piece of parchment paper to catch my loose glitter that falls off. I'm going to retake the tumbler. I'm going to scoop up my glitter. And now we're just going to tap it and let it fall down the tumbler. This is, we're putting this one on a pink base so that you guys can see the difference uh, that the, the, the tumbler base makes. Okay. Cover our butt. But you can see that this grips that ch chunky glitter very, very, very well. Okay. What you want to do at this point, oops, sorry, a little bit on that edge. Okay. Now, we're going to flatten this down, but we're going to first start right here. We're going to take our finger and we're going to push this edge right on this butt. The reason I focus here is because if you have any big chunky pieces sticking up right there, it's going to make it really hard to get a nice smooth coating along the bottom edge. So you want to tap down any of the big chunky pieces that are sticking up right there and then just tap down on there. Same here. I'm going to slide my finger around the top rim to knock anything off that is sticking up past the edge. And then I'm going to go back around and I'm going to press it down flat. This is going to help get a nice smooth edge along that top edge, the top rim. Okay. Then I'm going to just tap. I don't recommend doing the burrito roll when you have um, a do it with epoxy because it's kind of uh, slippery and you could end up pushing the glitter and smearing the glitter with the burrito wrap. All you have to do is just go back and just gently tap and press that glitter down flat. This is how you get a nice flat surface. You don't want to skip this, this part because you will have to, if you skip this part, you got to have a lot of chunky glitter kind of poking up and you're going to have to put a really thick coat of epoxy down on that tumbler to get to cover that glitter and you're going to have to do lots of layers so by doing this you flatten it down just gently and it goes really quick just push 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 tap 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 okay now you guys can see look to the side so you can see how smooth that is okay Oops. Okay, I'm going to put that back. Start over. Then, now that I've tapped it, I'm going to go back through and make sure all the nooks and crannies are filled in. Okay, we're just going to, this is kind of like adding a second coat. Anywhere where that, when I pressed it down, if any epoxy kind of came up in between, this is going to grip onto that space, grip onto that epoxy that kind of came up and make sure we have really, really good coverage. Okay. And it's not going to, there's not going to be a ton to do this to, but just back very quickly, just one more shot right around this butt. Make sure it's nice and smooth up here. Same thing, kind of run my finger. And then I'm going to rotate the tumbler and anywhere I see something sticking up, just tap it down. I'm not going to tap the whole cup because the pretty much the cup is done. Just the little new stuff that I just added might be poking up. Okay. And just like that, the cup is ready. Now that is the hang method. That is, a, now let's see if I can get, there's, this is today's live mix glitter, which is sparkly lurkly it is. Because you guys can see all the purple and pink flashes that come off of this. Now this one glitter color, but it has all that color sparkle off of it. It's super pretty. I'm hoping it comes across on camera for you guys. Hello, this is Lime Mix number 136. It's one of the Kaleidoscope glitters. I'm going to go ahead and stick that on our drying rack. 
Okay, so this is why it's called the hang method because there's it can literally now just oh that looks really pretty. This is better. This is the best angle right here. Um, it can literally just sit on this drying rack until tomorrow, and then we can go ahead and put a coat of epoxy on top of it. Now this would be probably ready for a coat of epoxy in about six hours, seven hours. Um, but I will be here in six seven hours. I will be sleeping. Um, so it's gonna sit here until we get a chance to come back in, um, uh, and do the epoxy. Now that is live mix number 136. That is our Club Du Scope glitter. Okay, I'm going to keep my parchment paper handy. Okay, I've got this is my finger. I it's got some glitter on it and epoxy. Epoxy, so I'm going to clean it off. That's a little bit of epoxy that was like coming through when I was tapping it down. So we're just going to clean it off the glove. Okay. All right, now we're going to play with this tumbler. I'm going to take my gloves off just because it's going to be hard for me to work with those gloves on. Oh, my paper cutter is not in here. It's all right. Where did I put that? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to wrap this. Baby is super cute. She was sleeping earlier when I was live. I wanted to have her on the live with me, but she was sleeping. So daddy had her. You need a glitter sale? Girl, keep your eyes peeled. We do them frequently. Um, okay, got my scissors. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. I don't have my paper cutter in here, so we're gonna use our ruler. No, I don't have a ruler in here either. What the heck? Nine rulers. Uh, I have a measuring tape, but I need a ruler for the straight edge. Okay, we're going to just go like this. We're going to use this paper. Okay, just use the marker and the straight edge. Okay, and we're gonna cut. This is on the carrier sheet. The marker is on the carrier sheet, so it does not matter. All right, so we're gonna just go in. It's obviously more precise when you're using the paper cutter, but that is good enough. Oh, I was. Oh. I was going to use this piece, but now this piece looks really pretty too. I'm just holding it up to the other tumbler to see which one I like better. We're going to go with this one. So that was my original. This is my OG thought. All right. So we're going to wrap this on the tumbler. Okay, so we're going to wrap this on the tumbler. And then we're going to glitter the rest with today's live mix. All right, so I just wrapped it around the tumbler, made marks where it needs to go. Okay. You can save this. You can use it on a pen wrap or a pop socket or a, a badge reel or a little accent. You can cut little hearts out of it and put them around your tumblers, whatever. Save the little bits and pieces. You never know when they're going to come in handy. All right. So we're going to put the lighter color towards the top. Yesterday I was telling you guys about how to tape it in place using um, painter's tape. So we're going to do that today. Okay. So we're going to take our painter's tape. This does not matter if you stick it to your shorts or not. This is not that serious. Oh, 
of glitter everywhere. I made a mess with the glitter. Glitter's getting all over my stuff. All right, so then we're gonna take this And I want it to be slightly off the top. You all know that I, I'm a slightly off the top person just so that the epoxy has a place to grip. Okay, so here's our tumbler. This is what we want it. So I'm gonna tape it in place. Okay, using the painter's tape, this is gonna hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. One more little piece. Okay, so see, we can literally pick it up because that piece of painter's tape, it held it perfectly in place where we wanted it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now what we're gonna do is, this side doesn't matter, we're gonna start our, our, our uh, sheet going down. This is gonna go under epoxy, so if my finger accidentally touches the white, it's not that imperative. But if you are doing a wrap with an instant transfer and you don't want to have to put epoxy on it, you have to be very, very, very careful not to touch that white part. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've peeled the back of the instant transfer away just a hint, just a hit, like about a half an inch, okay? And then I press that down. So the, the instant transfer, you can see the carrier sheet peeking out right there. I separated the front from the back and I folded the backing down just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Like about, well, not teeny bit, half an inch, okay? And then you can see the rim. This is where the carrier sheet is folded back underneath. Okay, then because it's now down, you can remove your painter's tape. Sorry, I have to keep my mask on you guys because we used epoxy in here. So I'm sorry, it's, it might be a little hard to hear me, but I'm gonna keep my mask on. This, Instant transfer that I'm using is called Lilac Chevron. But if you just type in Chevron Instant Transfer, it will pop up. Okay, now we're gonna take this in my squeegee and we're gonna pull with my thumb, I'm pulling this backing sheet away and I'm pressing the front down, okay? I'm gonna get about halfway, then I'm gonna come back around and I'm going to pull this carrier sheet up off the top because if you don't remember to pull that carrier sheet off and this happens to come around and overlap a little bit, you are going to be in a very sticky situation because you will accidentally put that instant transfer overlapped. Okay, so then we're just going to take our squeegee and push, press down, bring it all the way around. Okay and press it down. Then we're gonna pull that carrier sheet away. So remember I said that brown little dots, it won't matter because it's on the carrier sheet. Okay, so now we have it on our tumbler. And we've got our pretty chevron powder on there. Okay, this is the lilac chevron. Now I have multiple pieces of this. I have this I could put on a pen that would match, can make a matching pen. I have the other second half of that sheet that I could still slice in half and do two more tumblers with. So the full sheets of instant transfer are valuable in the sense that you can use it on lots of projects. It doesn't have to just be wrap a whole tumbler and it is done. You can use little pieces of the instant transfers and do it, use it for multiple cups. All right, so there's our chevron pattern. Now we're gonna do hang method, but we're only gonna bring the hang method to this point. I always make it so look so easy. It's because I've done it 8,000 times. All right, so now we're gonna mix another little batch of epoxy. Gonna get my gloves back on. The tricks on that one are using the painter's tape to hold it in place and then making sure you remove the carrier sheet. That is so important. So you don't accidentally overlap the instant transfer onto the carrier sheet. So if you do that, you kind of damage your epoxy. I mean, damage your um, instant transfer. 
trying to get that off. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to mix even less. We need like two, two grams of epoxy or two mLs. I'm going to use the live mix from today. Yep, I'm working with the live mix today. I picked this uh, instant transfer full sheet because I think it's going to match because the live mix has, so I'm going to do one drip at a time. Um, the live mix has a lot of purple and pink in it. And I think it'll look really cute. And so I wanted to show you also the difference between putting live mix on the dark pink base versus the white base. So this is going to be live mix 136. Okay. Okay, so here again, this is two grams. It's literally nothing. Do you need to order more than one live mix? Yes, I would get at least two, personally. It's like one of the kaleidoscope glitters. You'll see it here in just a second. We're going to put it right down on this tumbler. There's also a ton of new instant transfers on the website. All, a lot, all the new stuff is listed under today's deals. The first like five pages are like brand new stuff. No, the care sheet is not on there. It doesn't matter if epoxy gets on it. How many grams is two mLs? They almost equal the same. Two mLs and two grams because it's such a small amount is probably about the same. So this is about two mLs. Okay, so now we're going to put this. I measured it in grams because getting two mLs in one of these cups is almost impossible to get dead on the head. So these small, tiny amounts that I need, I did it by weight. Because these cups, to, it, it only starts at 5 mLs or 2.5 mLs down here. So there's not like a line for 1 mL. It's like literally some drips. But like, is it 3 drips? Is it 2 drips? But if you're off when it's such a small amount, it's a big deal. So you got to why I do it by gram when it's tiny, tiny amounts. Okay, so I'm going to clean my stir stick right away. These are silicone, so the epoxy will not stick to this. It will dry up and then you just peel it off. But I don't want that wet um, epoxy just around on my workstation where it could roll and touch things and get all over my arms if I put my arm in it. So I clean my tools right away. Now we're going to do the same thing here as we did on the other one. We're going to bring a little bit of that epoxy around each edge. Okay. And honestly, for this, I'm going to get some on my finger and I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag it right around this edge. It does not have to be perfect because I am going to be putting striping tape over this. So you have a little bit of leniency about it being like right on that edge because the striping tape will hide it if it gets a little overlap. But this is what we're going to do to make. This is what we're doing to make sure that we get it without kind of getting it all over the place. All right, then we're going to take this same concept, bring it all the way down to that other line. But you can see two grams of epoxy will do this. It just does not take 10 grams. It takes very, very little. If you get too much, you're going to mess it up because it, when you hang it up to dry, it's all going to just drip down the cup and take your glitter with it. So you do not want a lot. If you feel like you're getting too much epoxy and it's going to drip, scrape some of it off. Okay. Now, because this one has epoxy and glitter, it will obviously get epoxy over the, the top of this to seal this glitter in. Oh, Mary, I saw it. It's awesome. What striping tape do we do? Um, it, it's actually designed for nail designs. Um, we have a ton of striping tape in the warehouse. The girls are actually 
Um, Maddie probably started tomorrow and next week is going to start inventorying all. We got a huge order in, tons of different colors, and it will probably start popping up on the website in the next couple weeks of a bunch of different colors. And we're also designing some instant transfer stripes. <gasps> Not going to lie. I'm going to love this on the white base better. I wanted to compare it to see it on the dark base versus the light base. I'm definitely going to like the light base. It, it totally looks like birthday cake because it's got all the fun colors in it. Razzle dazzle. Okay, so we're going to tap, 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 just like we did on the other one. Let me put this away first. Okay, we're going to tap this button. You always want to go round, round along this edge. There are some people who um, do the chunky up here, and then they only put fine on their butt, just because they like it's easier to cover and easier to coat. That is one method. If that works for you, stick with it. But I find it doesn't matter. I can keep the chunky. I just gotta you just press it down. Just give it a nice little roll. Any of that chunky, just push it down. It's easy to get coverage on there. You get it nice and smooth. And then we're just gonna go back through and tap. Okay, this is how you get it nice and flat. You just tap, 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 tap that chunky glitter down, and it's gonna lay it flat down onto that epoxy. That epoxy is gonna stick, hold it down, and then once that epoxy dries, that glitter is down on there like it is stuck into the cement. Um, and then tomorrow, we'll just take a glitter duster brush and just dust off anything that's excessive or didn't get stuck to any epoxy and just kind of hang it out. And then you can put on seal coats of clear glossy spray paint. That is preference, but look how flat. So by doing that gentle tap, see how flat that glitter lays? Let's, let me see if I, I need a different angle for you guys because it, it's, I don't think you guys are getting the full color spectrum of how awesome this is. Let me change angles. Hold on. And I'm looking, I'm looking at what I'm looking at and I see what you guys are looking at in the camera. And I'm like, oh, that is not showing off properly. Hold on just a sec. Let me clean my glove off. I always clean wherever there's epoxy. There's a little bit of epoxy on my finger from tapping it down and touching it. Okay, let me see if I can get one of these cameras, one of these lights. Let's see if I can get the light up this time. I can pull one of my studio lights. Oh, that's too small of a light. Hold on. I was trying to use my phone light. Let me just move one of my studio lights. So I'm going to move this tumbler here. Use the contraption. You just got one, oh, one of your orders just got delivered? Nice. All right, let's see if we can change this light to the front. See if I can get. Usually my lighting is spot on, but and, and maybe you guys are seeing it the way I'm seeing it, but just with my reflection from you, what you guys see. Should we go outside? Is it sunny outside? Maybe it's sunny outside. Let's go. Let's walk outside. Hold on. Let me try to unhook you guys. Come on. I only have one hand. There we go. Let's go outside. Oh, I have no abs. Sorry. Oh, still have pregnancy. Healing from the C-section. Here we go. Oh, there we go. The natural light is better. Let's see. We're not even outside yet. Oh, that's got too bright. Hold on. Let's see all the fun colors. And those are kind of like chameleon-y. They shift as you spin it around. Let's still go outside. 
field trip. I'm not going to probably be able to see it when we go outside because it's very bright. Hold on. That's the tour of the ceiling as we go on a field trip. Because then I go look directly into the sunlight. Look at the spark. I can see the sparkle. Look at the shard, the sparkle off that. So I'm looking directly into the sun. That is the kaleidoscope glitter today. Oh, those big chunks. I can see them flat. I can see the flashes of sparkle. Can I show where the tape on the top meets each other? What's tape? I don't have any tape on the cup. Jody, I don't have any tape on the cup. I have um, only an instant transfer. There's no tape on here anymore. I took it off. The tape is only there to hold it down um, while I was getting it in place. All right, so that is live mix number 136. Okay. Hold on, I gotta put this down so I can put this on a drying rack. The, oh, the zigzag, the instant transfer, where the instant transfer comes together. Yeah, it's it's hard to see because it just kind of blends together. Hold on. Get my camera up. Yes, let me well, let me brush the glitter off because that'll be hard to see it with the glitter. I'm just brushing off any of the glitter that's just kind of static cleaned to the decal. Just so it's a little easier to see what's going on. Okay. Let me remove this light. It's too bright. Uh, right there. That's where it came together. I'm sure if you worked harder, you can get it to line up properly. I was not worried about it. And I didn't have my paper cutter, so I didn't actually get a straight line cut. Okay. And this, this is it on a dark base and this is it on a light base. It does actually make a difference. Can you guys see the difference on camera? You can definitely tell this has got a pink darker base. Color twinkle, all right. Put an instant transfer with you. Yeah, you can just put it. Yeah, put an instant transfer with you. I don't have any form of OCD, so that does not bother me whatsoever. I know if you have OCD, that's really rough, or if you're just very particular. I'm not. I'm I'm very laid back. All right, so if you just missed it, there are new stuff up on the website. The answer transfer on that one is the, the lilac chevron. That's a full sheet. The bottom of it has this really pretty marbling. And then I cut the top off. It had the chevrons on it. And I waffled back and forth whether to use this piece or that piece, but we went with that piece. That's the lilac chevron. That's not brand new. Just so search lilac chevron instant transfer. It'll pop up. But did you guys know that this is on the website? The full sheet cheetah print. I don't know how this is still available. I mean, I do because we reorder it constantly and put it back in stock, but I think it got restocked without an announcement of it being restocked because you guys buy this stuff super fast. All right. So that, that sheet of print is up there. There is a mold that makes little sneakers today, makes little running sneakers, can make fun little keychains. If, if your kid is in track, um, or anything like that. If you're somebody who runs marathons, you can make fun little stuff. Okay. The fish. This makes a really pretty beta fish. You can do 3D elements with it. And then there is the dog mold. It's a balloon dog in three in four different uh, positions. Okay. And then today, there's a bunch of sarcastic and snarky instant transfers. You have this one. I'm not going to read it out loud. I'm just going to leave it up there for you guys to read. Okay. 
Okay. Nah, way too peoply out there. Okay. Expensive, difficult, and talks back. Oh, Julie, happy birthday to you. The supply of curse words is insufficient to meet my demands. I have a friend that this fits. Emily, this is literally Emily. Be kind. And then the part of the bottom, I'm not going to read it. I told you guys, it's snarky and sarcastic day. Let me check my... Nope, nothing. <laughs> I literally got all of these. And yet, it's like the first time I've ever seen them. So those are all new up on the website. It's all our snarky and sarcastic instant transfers. Not all of them. It's a, it's a, it's a batch of snarky and uh, sarcastic instant transfer day. Now, I did, if you missed the live earlier and you just got to on, I wanted to show you guys some inspiration for what you could do with some of these full sheets. Um, if you're like, I'm not good at wrapping full sheets, but I don't, I, and so I don't know what I would do with them. I cut my names, so you can cut names out on them. So if you are like, you want to make a friend's tumbler, but you don't have time to do um, the whole epoxy process, so you want to just throw some instant transfers on it and then put her name on it or something, you can take a full sheet instant transfer and cut it with names on it. So I got my kids done so that I can put this on the tumblers for them, and then they're going to pick their stickers and put on it, whatever, for their tumblers for school. So it's Vera, Zelia, Jet, Pinzone. And I did it in three different, I did the, the cactus flowers, and then I did the two of the galaxy sheets. Okay. And we're going to put these on our tumblers for school. I'm sure my husband will ruin them and put them in the dishwasher. They still need to be weeded, by the way. They're not quite done. Um, but they're going to be for their school for tumblers. They're tumblers for school. So there's new instant transfers. There's new molds. And today is live mix. And it is a kaleidoscope live mix. Oh, Morgan must have removed the carrier sheet because there's no carrier sheet on here. Huh, I'll have to try it. I've never had a need to try to remove the, just the front of the sheet before. Sorry, I'm weeding this one so I can show it to you weeded. So if you missed it, we just did two different tumblers. We used the hang method to apply glitter. If you've never applied chunky glitter, that hang method is the bomb diggity for grabbing that chunky glitter and holding it and laying it down nice and flat and make it a, a lot easier to cover with epoxy. So if you tried it with like Mod Podge, which we call a devil's glue, if you tried Mod Podge and you got real frustrated, so you don't ever, you're like, I never want to use chunky glitter again, try the hang method. Don't give up and try the hang method because the hang method is so much easier with chunky glitter. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to, I'm just weeding very quickly. And if you have not been on the website in a few days, there is a ton of new stuff on the website. Also, kind of keep it in the back of your mind. Um, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's Easter weekend. So I'm going to be doing a little Easter egg hunt. Um, I'm going to just be putting random little items throughout today's deals on Super Sale. They're not going to be at the very top. That's why it's an Easter egg hunt. They'll just be random things throughout today's deals that are going to be marked 30 and 40% off. So you got to kind of hunt for them and find the goodies. Okay. So it'll just be a fun, it's just a fun little something to do since it's a holiday weekend. And because I like to do sales. All right, so there we go. So now you can see it a little better with their names. Okay. I read it out the A's. Okay. And then you can just stick this right onto a tumbler. Okay. I don't have a tumbler in here right now. They're in my bag. I'm going to kind of let them do it. I'm going to let them do it. Well, we'll see if I let them do it. Because I want these to stay on. And they're going to get their little 
Fingers there. Yes, Chris is coming for Easter. He'll be he'll he'll be here Friday. I cannot wait. Yep, Chris Fields will be here. I'm sure we'll be crafting some. I might have a mix of rhinestones for you guys or pick a craft out of a mix or something. We'll see when he's here. So, all right. All right, so go get your live mix 136. It's up on the website. All the newbie things are up on the website. If you have never done hang method, I do recommend um, re-watching this if you missed it for the hang method and re-watching how we applied the glitter onto these tumblers because it is a very, very useful tool to have in your skill set of doing the hang method to apply this glitter. Um, and But today is live mix number 136. Um, and like I said, when it's gone, it is gone. This one may come back at some point down the road. But when I say that, I mean like six months to a year, maybe. So we're a slow turnaround kind of company. I am so overwhelmingly busy right now. It's it's daunting. Hit the like button. Oh, you're so cute, Donna. Is that how many people are watching on uh, YouTube is 74? So the number that I have combines all the platforms. So I can't see each individual platform. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, Emily will also be crafting with you guys tomorrow. I'll probably come on live at some point to just show off all the new stuff. Um, I'm also going to be mixing. What am I mixing tomorrow? I don't even remember. I'm mixing something tomorrow. All right. I will see you guys later. Happy Wednesday. Bye, guys.